I love my Steam Deck, and I've used it in so many different ways. I've used it as my only computer for a week. That was a very interesting experience. Exclusively using SteamOS for a week was also an interesting experience. And with a combination of Bluetooth keyboards, portable displays, I was able to actually turn it into a semi-functional laptop experience on the go, which ideally you wouldn't necessarily have to use so many things to achieve that, but if you wanted a bigger screen, a better typing surface, are the things you're going to have to take in consideration. And there's already so many people who use their PC handhelds as their primary computing machine. Infamously, YouTuber Retro Game Core used an RG Alley for a long time with an external 4090 through the XPG connector, which allowed even higher quality gaming at the desk, but you can undock it, then take it with you on the go to enjoy the same experience in quotations on the go achieving that dream a lot of people have of being able to dock your nintendo switch and gain more graphical horsepower from a graphic card in the dock but friends of the channel you perfect reached out recently and they were interested in a collaboration once again and i looked at their website and see what i could potentially make a video out of and then i saw the lap dock the lap dock 15 pro is a very interesting device because it takes the idea of a laptop and a docking station and a portable display and sort of throws it all together and this is what you realistically get. It's a portable display attached to keyboard and trackpad. Essentially a laptop minus the computer. It has its own battery so you can completely use it portably and without actually needing an external cable for power, you can completely run off just this. The lap dock is more designed for DeX. You can even use DeX wirelessly from it, which is a thing some Samsung phones can do. But I found it more useful as making your Steam Deck into a laptop. You can either do this through HDMI to the dock, or you can just do one Type-C cable. But my Steam Deck just really wasn't having just going over the Type-C, so I had to use an external dock. But if your device was okay with it, I was able to get it to work with the Techno Pocket Go to get everything go over just one cable, which was awesome. But in the box, you'll get everything you need. Cables, power cable, HDMI, USB to Type-C, everything you could possibly need to get this thing to work with your device. Compatibility is quite wide. You don't even necessarily need to use an HDMI cable. It is fully equipped to be able to become a wireless display for pretty much any Android or iOS device. It has built-in speakers, trackpad, and keyboard, though the trackpad is in a portrait layout rather than the landscape that you typically would see on a laptop, which I personally would have preferred but I understand the reason why they chose this layout is to have a wireless charging pad in that upper area to do wireless decks or to wirelessly charge your phone. Overall, the keyboard was pretty good. I like the traction. It really felt nice to type on. And doing so really wasn't that bad of an idea of using the landscape trackpad, but I personally liked using a normal mouse with this instead. It has the extra USB port on it so you can just plug into that and then boom you're all ready to go if you're not using a dock for example if you were using something like the techno pocket go which doesn't have a huge amount of ports on it it only has the two type c's or any other you know standard pc handheld with either one or two type c ports you wouldn't necessarily have a full usb port on that device so you can plug in over just one cable to type c and plug into directly the actual lap docks usb port which should still work when you're on that setup already. It also has a micro SD card slot on it, so you can plug in an SD card into that and have expanded storage for any device you'd be using. Similar to some of those docks you might see that have an actual like M.2 slot inside of them for expanded storage when you are docked at home. But it would be significantly slower than what is available to one of those M.2 docks. But I still think it is a pretty nice inclusion to have. The actual experience of using my Steam Deck with this and turning my Steam Deck into a laptop was honestly really cool. It drastically simplified the experience of using this as my only device. If all you had was your Steam Deck and you were running Windows or SteamOS, it would be a no-brainer to buy something like this, purely on the basis of just how much simpler the overall layout would be. In the past, I would use something like an external display with a separate keyboard and mouse 
and it would just be a lot. It would be a lot to pack away every time. This drastically simplifies the overall experience. The dock I'm using in this video, if any of you are curious, is the BenQ B Creatus dock. It has really cool features like a fold out kickstand, a plethora of ports on the back with 2.5 gigabit LAN, has an HDMI 2.1 port, USB 10 gig, multiple USB ports, and a 2.5 gig LAN with an easily put awayable USB C cable that detaches into a normal Type C cable and a right angle adapter. Both this and the display were provided from channel friends, but none of them paid whatsoever for my opinion or was actually originally for a different project so they have no idea this video is even being made in the first place being able to use this kind of a setup with different devices too especially with something like the techno pocket go which has no screen on it to begin with enabling you to actually inter interface with it without having to wear the glasses which can be quite onerous if you're doing something for multiple hours that isn't necessarily gaming. You can get real work done because these aren't just crappy little processors that can only game, no. These things are proper PC processors. Inside the Techno Pocket Go is an 8840U. That's eight cores, eight threads, clocked at whatever gigahertz it is with a dedicated graphics of the 780M which we all know by now is incredibly powerful and super awesome. You can get some real work done with this kind of a setup. And if you have something like a Legion Go, an RG Ally, that would also work in this situation. You could even use something like the Nintendo Switch with this thing. Granted, the keyboard or mouse probably wouldn't work, but the display should still work with its speakers. It'd be perfect if you don't have room for a full setup. My friend uses one of these things as a portable display for their college dorm. They also use it as a second display when they're getting work done on their Surface device. He actually kind of hates the Folio keyboard because of just how floppy and doesn't really feel particularly great to type on. So that's why he actually really likes the built-in keyboard and trackpad to the actual lap dock itself as its primary keyboard and mouse when you're doing work on that device because you can just plug in directly with one Type-C cable and connect into Surface Pro 8 and just be all ready to go. He even has external storage connected to it and it's perfect for him in his college dorm room setup. And when you're all done with all your work, you can plug in your Steam Deck or your Switch and enjoy the beautiful 1080p IPS touch display that is 120 hertz. Granted, if you're using something like a Steam Deck, you're unlikely to ever hit 120 hertz, but it's nice that it's there, especially if you're just doing normal computer browsing the web and stuff it feels way better than just standard 60 hertz especially if you've gotten used to it with your at home setup but i know personally i have a display that hits 170 hertz and dropping anything below 60 feels terrible overall using this setup with the steam deck or even the techno pocket go goes leaps and bounds to making a portable or even standalone steam deck or top pocket go setup actually feasible my one critique about this thing is that it costs almost 400 plus dollars and some versions cost even more which is a bit of a tough pill to swallow there are some alternatives out there that you can find on amazon for about 250 to 60 which honestly is a significantly better price but to pay a premium for this beautiful metal exterior 120 hertz display it is still a pretty tough pill to swallow. I still would highly recommend this as a solution for some people. This might be the perfect thing for somebody out there. But if you're looking for just a casual portable display situation for your Steam Deck or your Techno Pocket Go, I might suggest looking elsewhere. But if you're willing to pay the premium and you want what the best thing out there, yes, this is an amazing thing and I would highly recommend it. I would love to hear what you guys think. Do you honestly want something like this? Have you considered this before? Does this solve an issue that you've been having with your device? I would love to hear about this down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All the other social media garbage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.